For centuries, these mystical animals have led us to different frontiers. We have used them to conquer lands. We have used them to help us settle. They have carried our loads. They have carried us on their back. And they have tilled the land. Today, horses are taking us to a foreign land to most. And we have the choice to follow them. And perhaps the biggest journey a human being can ever make. The exploration of our mind, body, spirit connection. This journey is man's journey home. The journey into ourselves. Some of us will never make this journey in our lifetime. So many of us get lost in the constant struggle of survival and others are not even aware that it may be possible. No matter what the circumstances, many of us rarely find the time to stop and observe what we are doing. When we are with horses, there is nothing else you can do but be with them. Observe what you are doing. You are there, present in the moment. These wonderful beings with powerful and highly developed sensorial systems, like all living beings, including humans, they strive to be complete. It has been said that a horse can hear the weeping of another injured horse one mile away. They have a keen sense of smell. Their skin can feel the landing of the fly. And they can feel human heartbeat three feet away. They have been called mirrors of emotions, mirrors of our souls. Instinctively, because of their size, and the fact that they are herbivores, they are also prey animals. For survival reasons, they depend on their ability to read their environment. That means they are totally aware of subtleties that we may not notice. Anything that could, in any way, have an impact in their subsistence. Because horses are so wonderful at reading our behavior, they can pick up on our incongruencies between our emotions and our behavior. They have no pretenses. They don't care what we look like or what we represent in our culture. As we enter their presence, as we enter their space, we become part of their herd. Because they live in the present moment, they are not concerned with what happened in the past or what will happen in the future. Their main concern is what is going on right now. Their mere existence forces us to be present in the here and now. I believe people are good in nature. We may encounter difficulties and challenges along our path that interfere with our development, but we all strive to be complete, to achieve our maximum potential to find a balance within ourselves and with the world around us. We do this throughout our lifespan, growing and developing until the day we die. When horses and people come together, in our relationship they have made us look inside ourselves in order to help us recognize our strengths. That is why, therapeutically, they help create an environment for growth and development where we become aware of who we truly are. When we connect with horses, in essence, we connect with nature, with love, and ultimately, we connect with ourselves.